the Lord. Come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest to preach with the heart, not just with the lips. Come Holy Spirit, bless the people who listen, to listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So dear friends, I look forward to Sundays. Father, Father Arnold and I look forward to Sundays. Because at the time we know that all over the world we are gathered together and we're all focused on the Lord. I know throughout the whole week, kanya kanya tayo mga pinagdadaanan. But especially on Sundays, we can come together and say, Lord, we're still here. We're still here, Lord, and we honor you and rejoice in your presence. Paalaala lang uli po, ha? Kung may pinagdadaanan ka, daanan mo lang. Huwag kang umistambay dyan. Lilipas din yan. And this is our firm belief. God is stronger than that virus. Yung virus na yan, wala yan sa Panginoon. And let not that virus destroy the peace, the joy, the love in our hearts. Mayroon pong game plan si Taning. Simple lang po. The game plan is to scatter this virus, whether man-made or natural, to wreak havoc on our lives, to kill our loved ones, and to destroy our peace of mind. How many, how many of us are already angry or worried or have become selfish and bitter and we have forgotten to smile and to be joyful. Again, please remember that virus has a plan. I don't know kung si virus mismo, yung whoever is behind that virus. Could be the evil one, I don't know. But the plan is simply to make our lives miserable. But God also has a plan. When he allows these things to happen, that the best will come out in each one of us. That we learn the lessons we need to learn. Yeah. Some things are hard to learn and we learn them best when trials or calamities come. Speaking of learning, you know, when we were little children, we loved... Uh, Hide and seek. Yung, ano? Uh, taguan, o, <laughs> how do you call it in Tagalog? Yung, ayan. And especially pag moonlight, naku may moonlight, deep into the night. So there's a story about a group of friends, very good friends sila, they played hide and seek long, deep into the night. Nung napagod na ni sila, they said goodbye, but you know, they had one realization. Tama. Tama. Good friends are hard to find. Anyway, one good thing about this, the gospel today is about Jesus who found a good woman, Canaanite woman, an outsider from the Israeli group, no? who had such a strong faith. It's interesting how, how the conversation between Jesus and that woman, how they were able to connect. And um, this woman was desperate. She was really desperate. I'd like to ask you a question. Have you ever prayed so desperate? 
with your heart and soul. Yung talagang, Lord, please, help me. Many times our prayer parang, sige lang, okay, maybe. <laughs> But when you come to a desperate situation, desperate prayers come out. These are real prayers. I remember praying desperately for my father to survive and to live longer. This was in 1987, June. The whole week, I was really praying, please let my father live. Lord, you know, nakikibargain pa ako. Ito nga po, nagpari na ako at lahat. Please lang. Lahat na. You put all the strings you can. This is a situation where you really get in touch with God. I don't know, may mga tao, <laughs> they can still be very, maybe they pray proud to God. May mga ganong dating. Oh, sige Lord, kung gusto mo, sige, okay lang. <laughs> Have you prayed desperate during this pandemic? Maybe you're just still too comfortable, that's why you don't know. But somebody who has lost a job, wala nang trabaho, somebody whose loved one is dying in the hospital, these are desperate moments. And this is precisely where faith Real faith comes out. Jesus started to draw that faith slowly. Imagine, China challenge pa niya, oh, di pwede, sorry, you're not qualified to ask for that. <laughs> uh, because, because it's not right. Yung mga pagkain para sa reserve, para sa kwan Israeli, hindi dapat pinapamigay sa iba. And look at that woman who said, but Lord, pati yung mga tira-tira, yung mga aso nga na pipagbigyan pa rin. See how humble. Desperate, humble prayer. These are the two things we need to learn. Desperate, humble prayer. Then things start to happen. We are all tormented by the demon. The daughter was tormented by a demon. COVID-19. It's a demon that has tormented all of us. Please, I like to ask all of you today, join the Lord's army to fight that COVID-19 and to fight those who side with COVID-19. Who's on the side of the evil one's army? You mga negative yung mga manipulators, yung mga fake news, yung mga napupuno na ng galit, napupuno na mga, you know, that's, that nakuha na sila ni, ni Taning. Is stay on the Lord's army. Continue to pray. Continue to be patient, to be loving, to be joyful. Continue to share. You are in the Lord's army. Sign up na po tayo. I'm staying with the Lord. I'm not going to let that COVID-19 destroy my peace, my joy, the goodness in my heart. This is what we need to rally behind the Lord and fight this. Of course, science and all that will do their work. But we too have to do our work to give the light and to show the light that we get out of this darkness of COVID-19. And, you know... It's interesting what the disciples said. Send her away. Nakakagulo na yung babae niyan. Send her away, Lord. Sounds familiar? How many of us, we get so irritated when our comfort zones are disturbed. Kunting disturbo lang. You find ways and means na to shut off, shut out people. How many times How we responded that way. No response when people are asking. We pretend to be deaf. We pretend to be blind. We look at the other way because we don't want to respond to a needy person, a situation which requires our time, our efforts, maybe our treasures. 
And uh, many times, zero response or mediocre. Kunti kunti lang. The problem is we even, we are good at this, we rationalize. Oh, bakit, bakit ako tutulong dyan? Dapat ang gobyerno dyan. Naku, mga ganun. Rationalizations eh. Bakit? Hindi naman sila nagtatrabaho. Kasi bakit? Mga tamad mga yan. These are all basically rationalizations. And, and, careful ah, huh? we even spiritualize it. Well, the Lord will take care of them. Well, God will provide. Sisters and brothers, God is telling us here today, don't send them away. Get involved. Involvement. In lovement. Same, same letters are there. Sisters and brothers, may you have no regrets after this pandemic is finished, and it will be finished soon, that you loved too little, too late, because you could not get out of your comfort zones, and you were just so focused on your own self. Don't miss this chance, this chance of being generous, being kind, being joyful. Report, be a part of the Lord's army. And dear brothers and sisters, please remember this, especially people in government. In times of calamity, that's the time you should make a difference and not make money. That's the time we are asked most to do your duty. Kasi po yung kawawa, kinakawawa pa. Yung walang wala na, kinukuhanan pa. God in heaven above must be very, very sad, if not angry, within the justices being done. It's not the time to make money. It's the time to make a difference, my dear brothers and sisters. And yung paalala rin, yung scraps, ha? Scraps, yung mga tira-tira. Please share your, whatever you have, kahit scraps lang. So assignment, please go look at your storerooms or whatever you call it. Yung mga hindi nyo ginagamit yan, pamigay na po. Somebody said, if you don't, don't use something within a year, it does not belong to you anymore. Dapat na ipamigay na yan. You know what's the feeling of the poor when they see luxury and money and power flaunted before them? Masakit pa. I, I remember that feeling. I was growing up in Bani, Pangasinan. Life was poor. And, you know, no electricity. And we had a neighbor, a mga U.S. Navy, and they had this chocolate. You know, for us, we couldn't, we don't know what chocolate was, mga, and how they were eating it. You know, inside your heart, you're saying, sana, Matikpang ko rin, sana makapansin din sila. <laughs> Nagpaparamdam nga kami kung baka sabugan kami ng wala. Tapos mayroon pa silang iniinom na violet. Julep yata pangalan nun. Ewan ko. But I was wondering ano ko yung lasa nun. Why am I saying? Or yung bisikleta. Sana kahit magtulak lang kami para makaramdam din kami makahawak ng bisikleta. These are not to make you, you know, but it's a reality that many times the poor and the needy experience so much unnecessary pain because we flaunt whatever we have. Mayaman, pero mayabang pa. Report to the Lord's army. 
humility. That's the other thing. Then you qualify. My dear friends, please remember these two. Somebody said, ang ganda pong pagkasabi. What's the difference between money and time? Well, the difference is that you know how much money you have. But you don't know how much time you have. You still have. You know, anyone of us can go anytime. And it goes fast. Sometimes you hear, oh, nasa hospital na. The next thing you hear, yun na, cremation. Oh my God. Don't get caught in that thing na, Asana? No, no, maghahanda pa ako. Marami pa akong ayusin sa buhay ko. Brothers and sisters, you may not have the chance to do that. So, slowly, what are we saying here? Be reconciled with your God. Those loose ends that have to be tied, uh, those uh, relationships that have to be fixed, ayusin na. Those blessings you have that you, you should share. By the way, dirty money is a big liability at the gate of heaven. Yan ang dahilan bakit di ka makapasa. And unshared money as well. That could be a big liability when you go to the customs leading to heaven. So don't get caught with dirty money and unshared money. This is the call. The Lord was compassionate to that woman. Let's be compassionate. I pray for the grace for all of us to be humble, to be joyful, prayerful, kind, generous. Yes, Lord, reporting to the Lord's army. May I just uh, digress? You know, August 19 is the feast day of Saint Ezekiel Moreno, Recoletos. As you know, he, he was in the Philippines for 15 years. He was a missionary from Spain and worked here in the Philippines. He died 1906. He was in Calapan, Palawan, uh, Las Piñas. He was in Bacolod. He, he was in um, Santa Cruz, Batangas, Santo Tomas. Yeah, he lived with us. And he was known to be so kind to the sick and the poor. He loved the Filipinos. I'm one of the recipients of that love. He helped heal my cancer. He himself had cancer. And I know that this saint will pray for us, intercede for us. Please include him. And as Saint Ezekiel Moreno, make a miracle for me. As he made a miracle for me, I would like to testify now, after my July 17 lung surgery, I went to the mission house here, Christ the King, to recuperate. After a week, somebody brought a statue of St. Ezekiel. Nagulat nga ako eh. Marie Garcia said, Father, I'll bring you a statue of St. Ezekiel. Moreno. I said, oh yeah, I didn't know who he was really. Well, I studied San Sebastian, Recoletos. Oh, okay. So I can, began to connect. And then Marie, uh, Marie B said, Father, we're here na. Nasa gate na kami. Oh my gosh. So I was praying in the chapel and we, we brought him beside the Blessed Mother, the stage of St. Ezekiel. It's been there all this time now. Well, medyo yung welcome ko I was not too... <laughs> Welcoming. I didn't know how to, but look, after a week, I noticed St. Ezekiel Moreno's statue started to have droplets of sweat all over and a teardrop on the right eye. I said, oh wow, what's this? 
And it stayed on. Mawawala, mayamaya, ito na naman. All throughout my four months, oh, September, October, six months of chemotherapy, palaging my perspiration and tears. What was he telling me? He was telling me, Father Jerry, I am with you. I will help you. It gave me so much courage. That's my testimony, and I believe in my heart. This saint who loved the Filipinos, especially the sick and the poor, is here with us to pray for us, to be with us. After my last chemotherapy, guess what? No more tears, no more perspiration, just like that. Sabi ko, Saint Ezekiel, nagtampu na ho yata kayo sa akin. You know, he said, you are healed and we have a mission together. Dear friends, there is hope. Please don't give up. Our God is a God who is compassionate. That's the most important thing to remember, especially now. So I invite you all to bow your heads in prayer. Just put your right hand over your heart. Just close your eyes in humility. We come before you, Lord, desperate, sincerely asking your help, not only for ourselves, but for the many people around us who have been so tormented by the devil of COVID-19. Please, Lord, stay with us. Give us courage. Lead us out of this darkness. Tulungan po niyo kami, Panginoon. Jesus, we trust in you. Mama Mary, we love you. Nothing is impossible with you, O oh God. So like the Canaanite woman, we plead, we ask, Lord, help us. And we believe that you will help us. In your time, according to your plan, according to your will. To God be the glory. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be. World without end. We honor Mama Mary, the woman who believed. The woman who never gave up. The woman who persevered and believed that God's promises will come true. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now, the hour of our death, for our departed relatives and friends, we pray eternal rest. Grant unto them, O Lord, and may they rest in peace and the angels to protect us from the virus and protect us from fear caused by the virus. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Lord, 